Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So I was talking with a teammate today in Battlefield. We were comparing March sizes because he added Washington with his Napoleon and I'm still going with Messina. Anyways, and I still had him by like three or 400,000 and we're both K44 and he has max science. So we started to go over like, where do I got this advantage? So I want to do a video to sh show you guys, but actually, Perfect timing. I was just doing my uh, Voyage to Civilization free rolls today, and I got a new uh, building there. I got Statue of Liberty. I got seven coins, so I got my final coin that I needed. And Ideal Land is one of those places that actually has lots of buffs. And that, the reason I'm showing you this is it just bumped me over the Ideal Land position, so I can now upgrade ideal land so i'm gonna save this one i don't i'll upgrade it but i just don't feel like uh switching over my talents and whatnot right now but i will upgrade this but as we look there is nothing in here specifically that will increase my uh, march size but when i do upgrade i'm gonna get to this one and i'm gonna get five percent everything and construction speed is gonna go up another five from 12 to 17. So very excited about that. Having said that, let's get back to the basics and we'll visit ideal land in a little bit. So first thing you gotta know about March size is the rally spot, right? That's the most important building, all multiples, all multipliers. The green is the percentage of what is gonna increase. All of that is based off of the March size. And if we go all the way down here, K1, you get 800. Move it up to K10, and you're at 16,600. And all the way up to the top, you get 790 to 860,000. So it's going to take a lot of people a long time to get to 860,000. But it's well worth it. Um, one thing that you should keep in mind is if you do have family members that are small, the larger the march size you have, you know, the more you can ghost when they're, you know, helping you out with some donations or the, the more they can gather, that sort of stuff, right? Now, um, first thing that you're going to need, first thing that's going to help with your March size is going to be sciences. I don't need to go over them all, but uh, right here, if you go into military advance and then you go into military you're going to find some stuff for march size some's going to be so so like that's uh march speed this one is march size and then you're going to get some that is going to be flat numbers as well and then inside here military academy you're also going to find a lot of march size multipliers and basically at k42 is where a lot of people stop growing or that's their goal. They, they then focus back on troops because there's a lot of March size up to K42. And then there's nothing again until K44 and K45. So K43 does not have it. Next thing you're really going to want to consider is your general. Okay. Your general is going to have an implication on your March size. So this guy right here, you know, when you click on him, and it has, you know, increased mounted troop attack by 30, increased mounted troop defense and HP by 15. Okay, nothing there. But if you get him to eight stars, you can see March size capacity 10%. Also in their specialties. So right here, March size 6%. And every general is different. Some have nothing, right? Like this guy has some. He's got March size in there, and he's got March size when he ascends at 14%. But if we just go and look at just your average random general, like Scipio right here. Oh, he does have March size. So terrible example to grab him. Let's go. Oh, that one has no... Uh, that one has no... I'm going to go something really safe here just to show you guys. So pretend you're going to use this guy as your main general. He's got no March size anywhere, okay? So choosing your general is going to be important, and it's going to be one of the most important decisions you're going to make. <clears throat> Lots of people base their general decisions around March size. Now, if we go over into another building here, 
we go to save treasures there is march size in here so let's find it it's right here it's in the second one this is also used for subordinate city training speed and it has march size march size 45 percent. these are big big buffs so if i'm gonna upgrade i'm gonna get to 52 and a half another seven and a half percent so they really do make a big difference now, one of the most important things that you're going to do also is your gear that you choose to use. So if we look at, let's go with Napoleon. And you can look at all the different gear. And some of it has March size. Some of it doesn't. Mostly you're going to find it over here in the bracers or the glove or the ring. March size capacity, 15% right here. 15%. So really, really helps out. That's obviously a huge number. Um, another area you're going to find it is in the skill book if you want to put it in. So right here, increase March size by 12%. Not everybody's going to be able to do that. Some can't do it because the great Genghis Khan or King Arthur have a 15%, so they can't put on a book. And then some generals may have March size in their main skill here, and that will prevent them as well. There are uh, some other weapons that do, or other gear that does have March size. And if we look over here, um, there is also some amplification and some set holding. So some people say this is the most important set to own. And the reason is at the bottom in green, March size capacity, 30%. Now there is some other, if you amplify some gear, so I believe it is this set right here, has a March size, it goes up to 20%. You go here, it shows you 20%. I've amplified mine halfway to 10%, which means I fully amplified all of the uh, conquest gear, not the supremacy gear. I personally just don't think that it's worth it. And so you can see here the stars. I personally just don't think it's worth it to amplify the supremacy gear for most players. Augustus gear also has March size capacity. So if I was to do this one, I'd gain another 10% if I followed along my, uh, my advice, which would be don't do the supremacy for the extra 10%. You'd be much better off just actually doing other sets of gear and getting set piece buffs now there's also a duty officer for the rally spot and he's great so where are you toyoto i always call him the little japanese guy and here he is so if you look at his main skill increase march size by five percent when he's the rally spot officer and then uh in his other stuff here there is no march size boost but he has one here on the third one, 6%. And then again on the final one, 10% more. So very, very good to have him. And he's actually crappy now, I guess, because there's a new one, Zhuang Liang, and he's a little bit better. So if we go into portraits, and I think he's Chinese. Yes, is this him? Construction speed, no, he's... Uh, this guy appears to be... I think they changed names, actually. Is that what happened? So this this used to be the rally spot guy. Oh, no, no. They're just very similar names. So this one is March size 8%. And March size 6. And March size 8. And then... If you have them in here, there is no more March size. So, anyways... You can get a duty officer there that will help. And that is pretty much all the ways you can increase them. But one little extra thing here is make sure that you get him up to... So mine's super rally spot officer, but get him as high as you can. And you'll see if it's just a junior, it's only 5%. Then 10. Then you start to get some flat numbers. Here's 20,000. Here's 50,000. Here's 70,000. So you absolutely want to do that as well. And this brings me right back to the start of the video, Ideal Land. Yes, I have the ugliest, least 
innovative ideal land there is i legitimately just hit construction so there is stuff in here as well let's uh construct that's exactly what i do and now i have enough to actually increase it but if you look at each of these individual buildings they give you march size so just what level ones give you 250. so if you had 10 level ones you'd get 2500. if you had 10 level twos you'd get 5,000 and then level three gets 750 and all the way up it ends up going to 5,000 so for most players like me it's not going to be that uh, you're not going to do that well in March size here but you're going to get a little bit actually you know what I got a little bonus one here that some of these uh some of these red subs do have it so this one Rostock has a March size capacity of five percent and there probably is some other ones out there that might have it as well but for the most part these are going to be very very rare and something that the average player is just never ever going to get their hands on so uh that's pretty much all the ways that i know to increase your march size let us know in the comments if i missed any and like subscribe leave a comment